We always swore we'd never, ever argue about money, and that's all we do. It's got behind because you have to go in and look at Put that one in that pile. Just leave it. I never thought it would come to this. I really didn't. No credit company will touch us. This isn't the right way to keep track of it. You never know anything. If we continue the way we are now, I'd say within a year or two, we'll lose the house. I see this heading nowhere. We've got nothing left over for anything. I just don't know what we're doing wrong. My name is Bev, and I'm a television sales coordinator. My name is John. I'm a truck driver for a hardware company. Our income gross would be $90,000. Where the hell it goes, I have no idea. We got into the damn money places. Once you're in those, forget it. You're buried for life. We had payments coming out on the 1st, the 7th, the 10th, the 15th, the 26th. It's just constant juggling. We get the paychecks, figure out what's got to be paid, and then argue over who gets what portion of our paycheck. Leave that one. I'll deal with we it. We keep leaving I'll it, John. It keeps going Put out. that one in that pile. My mom lent us some money. She shouldn't have to do that. We shouldn't have to go to our 60 and 70-year-old parents to borrow money. We make the money, it goes into the bank, but where does it go? I would be prepared to change whatever it takes to fix this problem. We need help. This month, I'll help this couple move from red to black. I've been solving money problems for over 20 years, tackling everything from high finance to low income. I help people understand money and debt, which is still a huge mystery for most folks. And it's the number one reason couples split up. So now, I'm making house calls. Bev and John are spending tomorrow's income today. They're $195,000 in debt and fight constantly about money. They owe family and friends thousands and live in daily fear of losing their home. I'm here to help them go from red to black. What I'd like mm -hmm. to do is just drop my bag and have a look around, if you don't mind. Sure. You can learn a lot about people by just having a look around their home. Nice kitchen. We're in trouble. <laughs> Gone upstairs. They have lots of space to get organized. There's no reason why the finances should be in such chaos. It's her fault. You worry? Lots of clothes. There should be no reason to go shopping for a while. Not my stuff. Who else lives here with you? Yours. I've gone through your paperwork. Here Sifted it comes. through it, and here's what I see. I see two people who are reasonably confused about what's going on with their money. You're bickering a lot. It's taking its toll on the relationship. You are in a spend the money I haven't made yet cycle. The interest rate you're paying on that is horrendous. Yes. I'm just wondering what you mean, spend the money we haven't got. Cash monies. The cash monies, OK. You yeah, haven't actually it. brought that paycheck home yet. Exactly. And you've started to spend it already. Mm -hmm. yeah. Their use of pay advance companies is killing them with interest rates as high as 59%. The second huge problem is your disorganization. Usually, I go through six mm -hmm. months' worth of finances with you. I couldn't get six months because yeah, I didn't have them. It's pretty sad. Yeah. You need to get organized. And I thought we were. You're That's... not. You have a significant amount of debt, and you do not have a plan for your debt repayment, and it's scaring the pants off you. The way you're going right now, what's your greatest fear? I'd say losing the house. Coming home one day and the locks are changed. Do you want to stay in the house? Yes. yes. You're sure? Definitely. Then let's work towards that. Bev and John are about to find out what their romance with pay advance is costing them. Let's go through the details. OK. You're spending $2,500 a month repaying pay advances. Mm -hmm. That's significantly more than your mortgage. Mm. When I saw that screen, that blew my mind, seeing how much money was going down the drain. Here's where the food's going. $175 mm -hmm. in restaurants. And you really like your liquor. So that actually comes under food. 
<laughs> wheat and barley sandwich. Right, right, mm -hmm. right. Here are two categories I'm particularly concerned about. Miscellaneous consumption, where you're spending over $400 a month, and cash, where you're spending almost $900 a month. You probably have no idea where that's going. I guess. I don't know. In about five years, if you stay on this track, instead of the $195,000 in debt that you have right now, you're gonna have over $500,000 in debt. You need something to be working towards. Mm -hmm. So tell me what your short-term goals are. To be able to learn how to budget properly, obviously there's a problem here. Can we go stop for a sec? Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Don't go away, okay? Just relax. If I tell you we can fix this, do you believe me? Yeah. What I'm gonna ask you to do over the next few weeks is not going to be easy. But you do what I ask you to do, and there is a light at the end of this tunnel. You think so? Absolutely. What I need from you now is a commitment that you are prepared to do the things that I'm gonna ask you to do. Do I have your commitment? Yes. You promise me. We've got no other choice. There are some rules that you're gonna to have to live by. I'm gonna give you a series of challenges over the next four weeks. And if you do the challenges and you're successful, I'll give you up to $5,000. Whoa. The second thing is go get me your credit cards and your debit cards. You're gonna to have to learn to live on cash. Coming up, can Bev and John do what it takes to hang on to their home? And can they work together to accomplish their first challenge? Yeah, and you never agree. That's why we don't work together. Because mm -hmm. we kill each other. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Bev and John are almost $200,000 in debt. They spend 40% of their net income repaying cash advances, owe friends and family nearly $15,000, and fear losing their home. I can help them out of this mess, but they'll have to play by my rules. For the next month, this couple will learn to live on a strict cash budget. No more credit cards. They'll complete weekly challenges to tackle their money and relationship issues. And if they're willing to change, I'll reward them with thousands of dollars. No changes, no money. Bring me those cards. There's mine. Good girl. Hand them over, buddy. <laughs> now, you know you're going to be living on cash. So this is what we're going to do with this. And if you want them, you're going to have to clean behind the fridge. <laughs> That's your job. It's going to force us to learn. And I think we've needed a kick in the pants for a long time about it. You're going to have to live on cash for the next month. And what I have here are your variable expenses. It's not the same as your fixed expenses. Your fixed expenses are the things like your mortgage payment, car payment, mm -hmm. cable, things that you would normally pay out of your bank account. Mm -hmm. Although I have created a new budget for you. While you were spending almost $2,800 a month, I have chopped it back by half to $1,400 a month. You will have, for the next month, $580 to spend on transportation, mm -hmm. $625 to spend on food, entertainment, $100, and finally, clothing and gifts, $100. Now, the trick here is to get to the end of the month before you get to the end of the money. All it's gonna come down to is myself and Bev cracking down and actually doing it. Every cent you spend goes in the book. Okay. This is not high tech. Pen and paper is all you need to keep track right. of your money. Bev and John usually spend without a plan and the home they desperately want to keep needs lots of work. So their first challenge is an exercise in planning. They need to itemize what needs to be done to the house, pick a project, and then cost it out. You guys have done a really nice job on this room. You can also see that there are some areas where you still have some work to do. One of the things about a house is that it can be a money pit. Mm -hmm. Right. And so what I'd like you to do for your challenge this week is I'd like you to go around and make a list of all the things that need to be done in the house. Figure out a budget and price things out. The idea is to not let this turn into some sort of monster project that never ends. Right. It's to have a plan, stay on budget, right. and achieve what you want. If they don't make a plan and stick to it, future repairs could sink them financially and they could lose their house. 
Curtain is A I N. It's okay, I know what I'm doing. The main issue is this the drywall ceiling. ceiling. Hold on, hold on, I just turn the page. Paint the hallways right down. Yeah, you but wanna... you want a little sink. No, I don't. Yeah? No. Okay, so Gee, what we got. This is my. Room. I know. Everything in here is coming off. We still have to write it all uh, down. No. So what are you going to put there? It's going to be ceramic wall. Okay, so they're that's money. Try... And Gail wants on, us on. to write yeah. down. I'll do it the way I know it has to be done. This is okay. We never get right, anything done. Go. Yeah, you never agree. That's why we don't work together, because mm -hmm. we kill each other. It's a family joke that when John and I go to do anything together, we're just, we butt heads. It's, it's bad. We're both right, and that's what starts arguing. How did you fare? in your first week? Excellent, I think. Tell me. Our budget of 350, we came in at 346.94. I saw that, I was very pleased to see that. So tell me about your challenge and what exactly you did this week. Well, first we went around the house. Yes. And listed everything, room by room, of what needed that to be done. That you wanted to do? It was a bit of a lesson because when it comes to doing things like that together, like renovations in the house, we kill each other then One too. One of us ends up dead. And then for our actual project, we selected the upstairs bathroom. On the back page are the prices. This project's gonna cost you $162. Right. Yes. You guys did a great job. Really? I I, you so. did exactly what you Good. needed to do. Now it's time for some badly needed financial housekeeping. I believe we asked you to get all your papers together, mm -hmm. everything financial. What I'd like you to do is go and get that for me because this week we're going to get organized. Okay. But I'm going to do it with you. You! <laughs> <laughs> Up next, can Bev and John organize their messy finances without coming to blows? Name something we would buy with an N. Nothing. Okay, a J. Jalapeno peppers. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Bev and John are deeply in debt and argue daily over finances. No, this, we no. are they were so disorganized, they couldn't find six months worth of paperwork for me. If they can work together to create a system for their finances, they'll earn up to $5,000. Warranties, other stuff. Other stuff, all right. The key to doing this is to have everything in one place, an office in a box, so that you don't end up running all over the place trying to find things that you need. You have a calculator, file folders, inboxes, places to actually do your filing. You have to also have a mental system for how this is all going to work, okay? Which means that the bills come in mm -hmm. and you don't just put them aside. The very first thing you do is you open them up and you look at the bill and you look at the due date. Pay your bills, you write the check number on, you make the entries into your accounts books, you put the bills you've paid on the top tray mm -hmm. and once a month you put them into your filing system. Done. Yeah. Everything that you've ever spent a penny on, there's a place for it. On a regular basis, at least once a year, you sit down and you go through your statements and you see how much you're spending in each category because you should review your budget a minimum of once a year. And that's your job for next week. Your job is to make sure all of this has been put to good use. I don't think it's going to come easy at all because it's a matter of being very disciplined. So fixed. Payments, and then underline it. Okay, that can go on the top. And then, how come you're putting them on all crookedly? They're not crooked. Isn't your mom a fixed one? No, she's not a fixed one because that goes variable. Yeah, but it's monthly. It's not. It's, it's not. It's not a payment. fixed one. Well, to me, that's fixed. fixed. No, it's not. P for presents. Yeah. What's the idea with the letters? Miscellaneous stuff. Name something we would buy with an N. Nothing. Okay, a J. Jalapeno peppers. You're wasting the folders. How was your week? Good. We How good? In, well, we came in on budget, actually under, by six whole dollars. <laughs> we're still butting heads once in a while, but we're getting it done. How did you feel doing the challenge? We got a surprise for you. Ooh. Junk. <laughs> oh, it's a thing of beauty. It's color coordinated. You've done a lovely job. Well, that's what we got to do to get back on track. You guys are fabulous. Does that mean we passed or failed? You passed. Then a great surprise. Ahead of my schedule, Bev and John ended their romance with pay advance. Gone. 
gone where? Out of them. No longer in them. How did you do that? Because our paychecks <laughs> fell within a couple of days of each other. We suffered for the three days, and then the other paycheck came in. We paid what we had to, and then tightened that rope. Well, you know what, buddy? Congratulations. Thank You're ahead of my schedule. The challenge this week is very serious, and it is designed to pull yet one more thorn out of your paw. Who do you owe money to? Mike. Mike. Nancy. Mom. Mom. You owe your mom a lot of money. Mm hmm Feeling like a real heel too, aren't you? About that, yeah. yeah. John and Bev had borrowed more than $10,000 from John's retired mom. You know what? We're gonna take care of your problem. Okay, how? You have to gather all the people that you owe money to together this week. The idea being to say we have a plan to fix this. Mm -hmm. You will get your money back in these amounts over this amount of time. Mm -hmm. I know your friends love you. Your mom loves you. Yeah. Everybody's been trying to bail you out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how you got into this mess. Yes. But I would argue that what they're doing is enabling you to continue spending more money than you have. I have a repayment plan mm -hmm. set up for you that will have you completely clean of all your debt, except for your mom, yeah. within one year. And you'll have her done in an additional seven months. So within two years, you will owe no one. Challenge number three really scared the crap out of me. But once Gail explained, they have been enabling us. It was a real eye-opener to me. Dearest mom number two, thank you for your generous help and support over the years. As you are aware, our previous monthly payment agreement has not been met. To ensure a set monthly payment on a regular basis, we have created a plan for our own good Please do not lend us any more money. So we'll go December the 2nd. Okay. 200. And the 30th. And we'll put the letter with the checks. Yes. Coming up, Bev and John encounter a setback. Can these two stay on course even in the face of a family emergency? They just don't know what's wrong with her. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Bev and John are spenders, and they're deeply in debt to family and friends. I started them on a plan to repay John's mom the thousands of dollars they owe when John received some bad news. She collapsed like a minor stroke. His mom had been rushed to hospital with symptoms of a stroke. You can replace all the material things that you have, car, house, whatever. But when it comes down to the family, they're irreplaceable. Let's see how they cope, even through a family crisis. How did your week go? Started off okay. Monday kind of went downhill from there. Got a phone call that uh, we had a family crisis with my mother. But I've been in touch with her. Yes. And everything's good. She's relaxing, just waiting for all the results to come back. And everything that she says is normal. Did the stress push you guys off course? So we might have yeah. faltered a little bit. Took her some flowers? Yes. This was really funny. Tell Gail what you well, mom said. As soon as I walked into the house with the flowers, if you bought those, I will kick your... <laughs> <laughs> and John gave her the letter, and she really liked the letter. Good. When I got here, you both were hell-bound and determined that you were going to go into the hole. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we thought in, we were going to lose the house. In five years, if you had stayed on track, you would have been $500,000 in debt. Wow. And you've turned that all around. I've put aside a set amount in their monthly budget to repay people they owe. As each debt is cleared, that amount is used to boost the repayment to others. If they stick to the plan, they'll be clear of personal debt within 18 months. At that point, I have another plan for this money. If you take just half of what you are using mm -hmm. to make your repayments on your debt, just $500 a month, mm -hmm. and you sock it away in an RSP at 5%, in 10 years, you will have $100,000 in the bank. Which is a damn good feeling. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you've done a great job. Thank you. We had a good teacher. I have for you a check for $5,000. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> now we know what we're doing. She's given us the plan, shown us the way, and we can do this together, sitting down at a table without any argument whatsoever. Without killing ourselves. 
It's been a tough month for Bev and John. They lived on cash, they created a plan to increase the value of their home, and they stopped the vicious cycle of borrowing against their future incomes. I think they deserve a night out. You guys have been terrific. You've really worked hard. You saw through the stress. You did it anyway. So I have for you a congratulations. <laughs> OK, read it, read it. Bev and John, you have both worked so hard till debt do us part is going to help you recapture the romance. <sighs> You'll have a delicious dinner at one of the most famous steakhouses in the city, followed by some dancing downtown. <laughs> You'll spend the night in a luxurious suite in one of the finest hotels in the city. Congratulations, Bev and John. Have a wonderful time. You deserve it, Gail. <laughs> oh, sweetie, you earned it. You both did. <laughs> <laughs>